Johnny, we're going around one more time. Something isn't right down there. I need a better look at that dock. George, can you shoot the dock? Stand by. I need you to come right about 10 degrees. That's got it. That's got it. Oh, look. Wait. Feels like number one. Uh, that's a car. Another one. Give me the emergency checklist. Uh, okay. Now, Johnny. Okay. Left rattle closed. Mid-level cutoff. Hang on, we're going down. Mayday, mayday. We're over, we're over. God, hold on. Mayday, mayday, turn. Admiral? Captain, have a seat. Sorry for the interruption. How's Laura? She's fine, sir. Scotch? No, no, I'm gonna pass. How soon can you get Sea Viper on the way? Approximately 24 hours, sir. Well, you have 12 hours. We received the Mayday radio message from a downed plane. A little Lulu. Its coordinates are an island near Sumatra. And part of the message was in fragments, so we couldn't totally make it out. In these papers are a detailed description of what we think is going on at that island. President Roosevelt has asked me to send the best submarine and captain in the fleet. Understood? Yes, sir. Godspeed. Johnny, don't move. Quit moving right now. Did you see it? Did you see the it German U-boat? It doesn't matter. Just try not to talk right now, all right? Just be quiet, okay? Hey, listen to me. You're going to be all right, okay? Just hang in there. Stay with me. Just stay with me, Johnny. That is too bad, Onions. Did your mother ever warn you not to gamble? Because she sure didn't teach you to respect the Lord. Oh, shut your mouth, Cutter. Good deal. To you. I'm in. I want you guys to uh, feel alone. Jesus. Give me two. I hold. 
What, no cards? No. I raise you three. Back to you. Hey, give me your lighter. I'll see you three. I'll see you three. And I'll raise you three. Okay, fine. I'm out. I bet you're sitting on a full house. It's your decision, Chief. Looks like I'm uh, falling short. How about an IOU? No books, no IOUs. Don't you remember what we said at the beginning, old man? Unless you have something to throw in. Like maybe the watch you stole from me. Stole? Me? <laughs> ah, so you want your watch back. You know, your mug reads needy, pretty boy. Maybe I should just fold, call it a night. You can't, and you won't. Hey, Chief, let me see the watch. <laughs> hey, looky here, there's writing. It says, to Samuel Cutter from Robert E. Lee, 1864. Hey, if this is 1944 and a goddamn hot September, it's been... 80 years. Really? Is that a fact? Jesus, Cutter, you know what? You're an old man. <laughs> Say, Chief, you know, how did you get this watch? He stole it. Chief steals? Now who's drunk? I won it in our last card game. Hey, you guys see that? It's really the Robert E. Lee, like from the Civil War. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm touching history. General Lee gave it as a gift to my grandfather. We fought in some battles together. Okay, Muley. Give it here. General Lee is one of my heroes. My family moved back to North Carolina after the war. Yeah, so did a lot of carpetbaggers. You call my family carpetbaggers? It's all right, Muley. So what's it gonna be, Chief? You gonna fold like the loser you are? Or are you gonna shock us all by throwing the watch in the pile? Chief, fold and keep the watch. It's late. What do you have, Cutter? Let's see him. <laughs> You're so easy. What do you have, Cutter? Let's see him. I want to see you squirm. You're a loser. You've been losing all night. You're about to lose again. Let's see him. Full house. Three kings, two jacks. Tens. Four tens. Ha! You lose! That watch is a family heirloom. That's my watch! Not anymore. You lost. And by the way, Cutter, didn't your big daddy, the Virginia senator, warn you not to gamble? Didn't your father, the lowly skyscraper welder, warn you to stay away from other men's wives? Or is it son like father? You son of a bitch! Okay, that's enough. Take it easy, Chief. I know what you're implying, and I don't like it! All right, game's over. You know, guys, it's about time I have a gentleman's talk with Captain Culpepper, officer to officer. I'm sure he'd like to know about the Chief and Mrs. Culpepper. You threatening me? It's my watch. Look out below! Clear the bridge! Die! Die! Move in! 
We're sending a message, sir. Can't make it out. The periscope depth. Con, Caesar. Oh, securing mains. Yo, we got us a convoy out there about 6,000 yards. Up scope! Yuli, what's the target range? 4,000 yards, sir. Down scope. But we're here, guys. Looks like we can have us our pick. Captain, we've received a radio message, but we can't make it out. The reason we are here is to pick up a downed pilot who sent a message with the coordinates of Little Lulu. Now, when we're done here, we're gonna pick up this poor bastard and find out what the hell is going on on that island. Up scope! Confirm target range. 3,000 yards! Looks like we're gonna crash as a party, fellas. We got us a tanker about 10,000 tons. A small cargo ship. Maybe ammunition. Maybe hell. <laughs> and two Jap destroyers taking their girlies home. Down scope. Joe, what do you think? I said we take out the tanker first, then the cargo, and then we run like hell. You read my mind. Up scope. Flood tubes one, two, three, and four, and open outer doors. Flood tubes one, two, three, and four, and open outer doors. We're gonna go for the tanker first. The angle on our bow is starboard 35. Range, mark, down scope. All ahead two thirds. Maneuvering all ahead two thirds. Cargo ship is directly behind that tanker to lay the last fish on the same track. We're closing the range at 2,000 yards. How close before we shoot? Another couple of hundred yards, then we release the fish. Up scope! They saw us. Range 2,000 yards. Sir, we got a destroyer moving in fast. What's the course on an 80 degree starboard track? 255. Five. Torpedo room, stand by. I'll give the final bearing, then we shoot. Ready on tubes one, two, three, and four. Ready on tubes one, two, three, and four. Come left to course zero, five, five. Tubes one, two, three, and four, ready. Tubes one, two, three, and four, ready. Torpedo room, stand by. Final bearing, mark. Bearing two, seven, zero. Bearing two, seven, zero, set. Range, mark. 1,500 yards. That destroyer's almost on our back, sir. Fire one. Hold away. Fire two. Two away. That destroyer's gonna be knocking in two minutes. Now let's go. Hey, Chief. Ever done any sailing? Sir? Ever done any sailing? Well, me and my brother Jack used to build little sailboats when we were kids. We used to sail them by the lake in Central Park. Well, when you and I get out of this damn war, we're gonna have to do some sailing. We'll take my boat. Sail around Cape Cod and Martha's Vineyard. It sounds great, sir. Fire three. Three away. Fire four. Four away. Sir, we have a visitor. Take her deep to 250 feet. Rig for depth charge. Rig for depth charge. Take her down to depth. Two, five, zero. Rig for depth charge. Sir, I hear splashes. Chief, what's the time on that first fish? 10 seconds. 150 feet. Five seconds. 175 feet. Race for a stinger. You got the tanker, sir. Second torpedo a hit, sir. Second fish, sir. Race, here we 
Here we go. 225 feet. Torpedo free a miss. That was close. 250 feet. Two out of four is not bad. Good shooting, sir. Three out of four, not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Let's cut and run. Take her down to 275. Take her down to depth 275. Sir, I know this sounds crazy, but I think the destroyer's leaving. Well, they said that destroyer's pulling away. I wonder why. Pick up survivors? Maybe there's something else more important. Horatio, speaking of survivors, we have a downed pilot to pick up. Joe, set a course for Little Lulu's coordinates. We'll pick up this pilot near some small island. When we get in close, we'll need rifles and sidearms. Chief Gallagher and I will go ashore. Hold your fire. This could be our flyboat. Hi, sir. Little Lulu? Yeah, that's me. Thank God you guys got here. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. No, we can't go yet. Why? What do you mean? There are two POWs back in old Jap shack in the jungle, along with the Jap prisoner. Uh, I came here to the beach every day to see if you guys would ever get here. We have to go back and get them. All right, let's get these guys and get out of here. me bastard. Lewis wanted him alive. I fall asleep. You steal my skags and smoke them. You kill the nip. You betray your own mother, you bastard. What's next, Limey, huh? Fix the radio and not tell us? Did us a favor, cowboy. We saved your bloody ass. I don't care about that yellow bellied bastard. I don't care about this war anymore. I made a choice, cowboy. Just like the Japs did. If you can't walk, then you die. And he couldn't walk. Besides, Lewis has been gone for hours. Who knows if he's coming back? Why are you all the same? You're 
goddamn selfish to the end. What about me? I can't walk. Do I die? You'd leave me here? You Americans are nothing more than capitalist gangsters and cowboys. Cowboys and gangsters? Well, there's a boat full of these fellows here to take you home. We're going to the beach. We'll take a raft back to the sub. What happened to the Jack? He's monkey meat. How did you hook up with these two guys? I met him back along the shore. Their plane crashed a few days after my C-47 went down. Captain, the Jap's dead. Any information? Looks like a no. Captain, three hours before daybreak. We gotta submerge before sunrise. We gotta move fast. There'll be patrols. Gallagher, take to the Jap's clothes and see if you can find anything useful. Lewis, tell me again what you think you saw on the other side of the island. Hey, Captain, I know for certain what I saw. I was flying footage over the area when I spotted them in the harbor together. I took her down for a closer look, and that's when we got a plane full of flak. We went down, and my co-pilot didn't make it. He was killed by that Jap over there. Captain, I need to get this information back to headquarters. Captain, put that on the Jap. Photos of who together? A Jap destroyer and a German U-boat. A U-boat? Here? What the hell are the Germans doing here in the South Pacific? That Axis Ratsy bastard would run out of fuel before it got here. I received a direct order from President Roosevelt to move Sea Viper to these coordinates. This is a classified mission, Chief. No one will believe the Germans can do this unless this information gets out. Chief, take Gallagher and the men back to the boat. Lieutenant Lewis and I will remain here to recon the island. Captain. It would be better if I stayed and you returned to the boat. This is risky, sir. And in all due respect, it is the exec's first tour in a submarine. He was a surface vessel sailor, sir. Chief, I want you and Gallagher back on the boat. Yes, sir. Chief, can you leave me your rifle? Yeah, sure. Say, Lewis, maybe you know my brother, Jack Keenan. He's a Navy pilot in Air Hawk. He's been MIA for two years. Sorry, Chief. Name's not familiar. How about that rifle? Yeah, sure. Listen carefully, Chief. Yes, sir. The Exo's a good man. You can trust him. Brief him on what's going on here, but don't let it get any further than his ears. It's Officer Cutter who you need to watch. His career's an agenda. Yes, sir. Maintain current position with radio silence. Rendezvous is at 0300 tomorrow on the beach. If I don't make the rendezvous, get this information to comms up pack. Do not, and I repeat, do not attack the U-boat. We'll deal with that bastard when I get back aboard. This is a direct order. Understood? Loud and clear, sir. yards bearing one two zero con bridge radars picking up a destroyer four thousand yards bearing one two zero maintain current position we're bringing them aboard prepare to dive damn the xo the xo is going to get us all killed shouldn't risk this whole damn boat for a few men on a raft the captain's on that raft Lookouts below. Clear the bridge. Dive. Dive. Welcome aboard, Chief. Where's the captain? Reconnaissance. Take it to periscope depth. Flood tubes one, two, and three. The periscope depth. 
Forward torpedo room, flood tubes one, two, and three. Tubes one, two, and three are flooded. Chief, the angle of the bow is port two, five. Bearing, mark. One, one, two. Down scope. Call ahead, two thirds. Open out of doors. She's really moving, sir. What's the course for a 60 degree port track? One, zero, five. I'll get the final bearing, then we'll shoot. Up scope. Open out of doors. Stand by, tubes one, two, and three. Stand by, tubes one, two, and three. Final bearing. Mark. One, zero, zero, set. Do we shoot? 2,000 yards. We have a solution on target. Do we shoot? 1,500 yards, sir. Sir, we're going to lose her. Down scope. I hear her, sir. She's right on top of us. They saw our scope drop. Joe, you should have shot. Now we have to run. Take her down to depth 350. Rig for depth charge. Test step for this boat is 300 feet, sir. He's unconscious. And probably has a concussion. We need to get him to his quarters. Really? Looks like I'm in command now. Three hundred and twenty-five feet. Our pressure and damages are building. Should we hold at three twenty-five, sir? Chief. Take her down to 350 feet, then level off. Stop all engines. Maintain silence. We'll wait. Then I'll give those damn Japs tubes one and two. My turn to hit and run. coconut and wildflower. Let me tell you something about these broods. They know all the tricks. They know how to take care of a guy. They'll even make you forget this lousy war. Even if it's only for a moment. Hey, where's my harmonica? It's a place for Jackie Wackies and Dad here. He's just plain Jane crazy. Zip your lip, onions. I swear to God, I will give you a beating and shove your head so far up your ass, you smell your own farts coming and going. Jesus, I would love to be back on Waikiki Beach right now. Man, the old boy of the lion. Drinking bamboo juice and beer. Man, nothing to do all day but eat, sleep, swim, and lay on the beach. Man, just reading and rereading up. All of my love letters. <laughs> oh, and not having to sleep on my back so I don't fall out of this damn rack. <sighs> it's surely a piece of heaven. Hey, Grease. <laughs> hey, did you catch that? I rhymed just like your poetry. A poet, you're not. Bartimio. Hey, hey, Bartimio. 
that smell, and it's forcing Grease's mortal vision to the crapper. Shut up, onions. Shut up. Bartemio, man, you gotta move this guy. Man, I can't take the smell from that jungle rhyme. He's around, Bartemio. It's horrible. It's even worse than your breath. Why don't you take him to the torpedo room? Hey, no way. Not forward. Hey, move him aft. I can't move him, okay? He stays here. Then why don't you move him to your quarters? Will you girls quit whining and just shut up? Forget about it. It's just the smell. This boat, it's got lots of smells. And eventually, you're all gonna get used to it. Just like your own body odor. Sweep of their sonar. Listen. Listen. Shut up. I can hear that tin can. She's getting loud. Brace for water cans to hit. Just shut him up. Listen. Here they come. Brace. <laughs> Bartimio. You gotta keep him quiet. He's in a lot of pain. And the leg? Not good. Yeah, Gray doesn't look good either. Shell shot. Oh, can't breathe! I oh, can't breathe! Easy. I oh, can't breathe! Easy, easy, Gray, easy. Shh, shh, shh. Come on, come on. Shh, shh. I oh, can't breathe! No, shh, shh, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Right. Shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I cannot stand another string of bombs. Pressure in my head. Stop. Crash! Shh! Easy. Look. I never like thunderstorms. My brother Jack did. He used to tease me all the time. He really liked to light me. Anyway, listen, Fred. You gotta hold on. It'll pass. Say hi. I happen to have a photo of Jack on me. He's gone. Missing two years. Maybe you've seen him. Do you have family somewhere? England. A brother in the war? No. A sister. Your sister? She was executed by the German SS. 
for being a spy. A spy. She and her husband work for the French underground. They got him too. Are you sure about my brother? Yes. On the railroad. It's mostly Brits. Some Dutch. You all see. I don't recall any Yanks. A flyboy. Yes. His plane. Where? New Guinea. 1942. You try bets. Can you fix that damn radio? Maybe. A yes or no? <laughs> yes. Let's get back to the shack. Fix that radio. the XO back in command. How? He has a concussion. I need to keep a close watch on him. He could develop swelling on the brain. He's got a short-term memory loss. It's not bad. It could go away. I don't know. His balance could be affected. I need the weight, so he needs the weight. Look, I know you'll have the XO back on his feet in an hour or two, right? No, Chief. This can be serious. Serious? Come on, Bartimeo, he bumped his head and has a headache. You gotta release him back to command. He's not fit to command right now. I can't release him without proper medical justification. What are you talking about? Look, this is not the time to fill out forms for headquarters. This boat is in a serious situation right now and Cutter is not the man for command. I'm sure Officer Cutter will prove to be quite capable. Bartimeo, he's no Culpepper. You know as well as I that Cutter would double cross his own father. Stop! I've heard enough. He's your father. He's not mine. And he's not listening. Yes, he is listening. He doesn't care. You don't believe. Not anymore. Mikishevsky, if you want to pray, go ahead. Do it, silence, and go somewhere else. Hey, pal, this ain't your boat. You're just a guest here. If Kishevsky wants to pray, he can. You can go somewhere else. Besides, I happen to think we can use all the help we can get, even from the big guy upstairs. Yeah. What kind of help you think you'll get? A way out? You're a man. 
romantic. Go ahead, Kishavsky. Say your prayer. Yes. Say a prayer. Say a prayer to live. For in a few hours. You'll be praying to die. To run! Kishavsky. I promise you this. We ain't gonna become gold stars in our mother's windows. Not just yet. Enough. You're annoying me and everyone else in the room. We have to conserve energy. It's hard enough to breathe. Pray in silence, okay? And I agree with Greece. We can use all the help we can get. Greece, take Kishovsky and go find Milchi. Get out the CO2 absorbent and start dusting the torpedo room. Let's go, Kishovsky. So how's Bet? He's comfortable. It's all I can do for him now. His leg looks like an amputation. Well, we would need to transfer Mr. Betts to a surface ship for such procedure. We can't do that. You would have to do the operation on board. So have you figured out what's wrong with his leg? Ulcer's tropicum. What? It's a tropical ulcer. I read it in one of my books. Gee, all of our antibiotics were damaged during the charges. All I've got left are Vitamins. His leg looks like it's wet gangrene. Well, we have to prepare the officer's mess for the operation. No, no, no. I can't amputate. There's no way. I've never done it before. I don't want to kill him on the table. Then he's to die in his rack, right? Look, aren't you his only hope? I think you'll do fine. No way. It will be okay. I can't do it, okay? Not here. The operating conditions aren't adequate. It's unsanitary. Make it work. Chief, I know very little about amputations. And tropical infections? I know that by cutting his leg, Mr. Betts will be exposed to hey. other infections. What's the worry, Doc? I've seen him done. Too many. They all scream, you know? No painkiller. Painkillers, no. Just walk cigarettes. Or a hard right to the jaw. Or a bamboo stick to bite on. With four blokes holding you down while you're screaming like a little infant. A wog cigarette. What the hell is that? It's native tobacco, it's raw stuff. Many colors, orange to black. The darker it is, the stronger it is. If you smoke that in your days, you're almost paralyzed. You have a wog cigarette? No. Frederick, I could use your help. What you guys use for tools? Next to nothing. What do you mean? Also, really, toes were cut off with scissors. No anesthetic. And we were lucky. We had a wise field doctor. He was Dutch. And how he was able to get table knives, scalpel, forceps. I don't know. We use bent forks as retractors. What about the bone? What did he use to cut through the bone? 
we borrowed a tenant saw from the butchers in the cookhouse, and he borrowed it from the carpenter. Please. I need your help. I oh, know, doctor. Bets will die. I can't do this without you. You have to help. You're the only one who's seen it done. I can fix a broken radio, but I cannot fix a broken body. Like I said, I'm not the doctor. And those I've tried to help have died. I've learned to walk away from the dying. In camp, they took the sick away from the sickest. The sickest ones, they were sent out to work. Because they knew, they knew they would die. Got it. Maintain silence. Yuli, what do you hear? There's no surface sound, sir. The destroyer might be gone. So it appears to have left. But I say it's still up there, waiting. If you surface too quickly, we could be sitting ducks. I recommend we remain submerged and maintain present course. To periscope depth. If the Japs are up there, they're going to see our air bubbles from the negative tank and they'll ram us. We're going to periscope depth. Sir, we have considerable damage from the last string of charges. Can we dive quick enough to escape? We're going to periscope depth to have a look. Now take us to 55 feet and be careful not to blow the negative tank dry. To periscope depth. Blow negative to 100 pounds. Blowing secured. Negative C valve closed. Periscope depth at 55 feet. Upscope. No enemy sighted. Downscope. It's the second time the Japs has left. Why? Maybe they think they got us. Chief, take her to the surface. You really want to surface in daylight? Milchi? I received a message. The radio room is receiving unidentified messages. Sir, I'm picking up something on the SJ radar. Muley, can you identify? Looks like it could be the destroyer. Sir, we're receiving a weak radio transmission. Can you describe? Kishovsky, can you make it out? Could be German. German, sir. It might be German. German? Muley, what's the bearing on that destroyer? Bearing course zero, 065. Range. Around the corner, sir, about 7,000 yards. Chief, take this boat to the surface and maintain that destroyer's course. To follow that destroyer is against the captain's direct order. Destroyer is now bearing a course of 055. Range 7,000 yards. We've identified the message, sir. It's definitely German. German. Yes, sir. Destroyer still bearing course of 055. Chief. Take this boat to the surface and maintain that destroyer's course. That's an order. The captain gave me a direct order to maintain position for rendezvous. Surface, surface, surface. <laughs> Come to core zero, five, five. Any more resistance? I'll have you removed from the con. I am witness to that direct order, and I will testify to that at your court martial. Is that a threat? One more remark and you're out. Milchi, give me a report on the forward batteries. Maneuvering. I need a report on the forward batteries. Batteries are low, Chief, and we're still clearing out seawater. I still have the destroyer at 7,000 yards. I, I don't think she's moving, sir. We can't just sit here. Stay on that destroyer. Maintain course of 055. I don't like this. Orders are to rendezvous with the captain at 0300 hours and get the photos to comm sub pack. What photos? 
What's happening on that island? Open the hatch. Make way to the bridge. I got the destroyer again on the SJ. It's at 4,000 yards. Sea valve secured. Destroyer sighted, 4,000 yards. Bearing 350. Prepare to dive. Look out below. Clear the bridge. Dive. Dive. <laughs> Two, seven, zero. Chief, we have a strong signal. The message is German. We're receiving that message again. Signal stronger. All right, Chief. What's beyond that peninsula? An abandoned harbor. We should turn back and maintain initial position. Down scope. I'm asking one more time. What's on that island? An abandoned harbor. There's a down Burma butterfly and an old equipment shack that looked like it was probably used by the Japanese. And, of course, the captain. Up scope. Down scope. Chief, you are intentionally interfering with my command. Now I have a German U-boat and a Jap destroyer on my side, so guess what? I'm going after him. Captain will just have to wait. The only report I'm going to make the comm sub pack is about sinking that destroyer. Up scope. Port 90. Bearing. Mark. Bearing. 315. You can't let this information be buried at sea. Turn the boat around. We can't risk losing this information. Range. Mark. Range. 3,000 yards. Down scope. All ahead. Two thirds. Steer course, three, four, five. All ahead, two thirds. Blood tubes, one, two, and three, and open outer doors. This is a mistake. First we'll take the destroyer, then the U-boat. Blood tubes, one, two, and three, and open outer doors. That's an order, Chief. Flood tubes, one, two, and three, and open the outer doors. Flood tubes, one, two, and three, open outer doors. Outer doors are open. I will give the final bearing, then shoot from the con. Up scope. Bearing. Mark. Bearing. Zero, three, five. Zero, three, five, set. This is our trail. Down scope. Fire one. Fire two. Two away! Two did not fire! Malfunction, two did not fire! Fire three! Three away! Take your deep, rig for depth charge! Milchie, what's the time of that first fish? First fish should hit in 22 seconds. Torpedo two did not eject! Running hot in two! Second fish is running hot in the two. One and three are hot straight and normal, sir. Sounding 200 feet. We're sitting ducks. Any suggestions? First fish should hit in eight seconds. I lost the first torpedo on sonar. I think it went missing. Destroyer is at 1,000 yards. Dolce, what's the time of the third fish? Third fish should hit in three, two, one. Torpedo should reach his target by now. Damn it. Tin can's directly above us, sir. She's tracking. Can we take a hit at 200 feet? She's closing in. Go 
computer's turbines are shut down, sir. She's still in the tube. Your splashes. Brace! Outer door to tube two is open. I don't think the torpedo has armed itself. We have to get that torpedo out. It could explode from the pressure of these charges. Request permission to go to the forward torpedo room. Get that fish back in the boat. There's a U-boat to hunt. Hunt a U-boat? Look, we're not going anywhere. You have us trapped. That tin can is hunting us and it's not going to let us go. Our situation is not looking good. We lifted the stop ball. We can't get the fish back in the tube. We need to give the boat a five degree up angle. Maybe then we can crank back the muzzle door. Do it. Control room, give the boat a five degree up angle. Torpedo room, we have the boat at a five degree up angle. Are you able to secure the muzzle door? <sighs> Chief, we're doing our best. The fish is broke in the tube. Onions, this is your baby, bring her in. <sighs> Crank that thing harder! Chief, we're trying! She, she's pinging us. Onions. That tin can is hunting us. If we have to dive any deeper with that fish camp, we are not going to see the surface again. Onions, what's going on? The ping is stronger, sir. They're closing on us again. Milton, go forward, give the torpedo room a hand. Aye, sir. Onions! I don't hear you! Milsey's coming forward to help! Talk to me! Come on! Hey, she moved, Chief! She's punching! Onions, reel her in. Don't give her any slack. She picked us up. Charges. Here come the water cans. We almost got it, Chief. We need another minute. There are no more minutes. They'll be here any second. Onions, I hope you got her in. We have to die. Chief, what's going on down below? They all went on a coffee break, sir. For Christ's sake, they're doing their best. You know, Chief, I'm getting really tired of listening to your mouth run. Yeah? Well, I'm already fed up with your command. You're crossing the line, Chief. Do you realize what you're saying? I know exactly what I'm saying. Chief! We reeled her in! Tube is secure! Tube secure! Blood negative. Blood negative. Take her down. Level off at three zero zero. Pump negative to the mark. Sir, we can't trust these charts. Could be shallow here. Should we rig in the sound heads? Rig them in. We don't want to scrape them off. Forward torpedo room. Have Milchie rig in the sound heads. You only give them a hand.
flooding is secured at. Take her to 350 feet. Easy on the planes. Level off at that depth. Could be shallow. Taking us to a slow 350. Chief, maintain silent running. Going to 350 feet. All compartments rig for depth charge. Silent running. Chief. Remember the message I was getting over the radio in German? Well, there's one word I don't recognize. You ran U-235. Ever heard of it? My boy. He had red hair. God, they ate red hair. He was blindfolded. And they had swords. They were hackers. They weren't samurai. They were hackers. Mio, how's Betts? He's conscious. He's having difficulty breathing, and his pulse is very weak. Chief, the oxygen is so low. I don't know. I just hope I did the right thing. You did. Louis, you're doing great. We'll get some air in the boat, you'll feel even better. You gotta hang on. Chief. Shh. Quiet. Get some rest. Please. Me, I'm going to the con. Gray, get some rest. It's Jack. Chief. Your brother Jack.
Jack. Jack. My, my brother Jack. Yes. He, he had red hair. Yes, he's got red hair. shot. I'll have to try and send Morse code. So how's your code? Shitty. I can use a microphone key to send a message. What do you want to say? Little Lulu. Little Lulu. Urgent. U-boat Jap destroyer west of Sumatra. Three degrees south, 99 degrees east. All cargo must be captured. All right. Now let's just hope someone in our fleet gets it. Yeah. Send it again. You sure? You can trace the signal and find us. I know. Send it again. Being hunted. What about the batteries? Almost fully discharged. Chief, what's Cutter doing to the boat? He has us trapped. We're taking water below the engine compartment. Well, something has to be done. Otherwise, we're all going to be trapped on the bottom of this damn sea. What's the condition of the boat? Oxygen's critical. The boat's on the 20 degree up angle from the water in the aft torpedo room. Pressure on the boat is causing steering problems. And the pump room's starting to flood. And what else? We're almost out of high pressure air. Chief, you know what that means, right? I'm not going to be able to see the surface again. How much high pressure air do you think we have? We have enough high pressure air to get the boat to, let's say, 100 feet of the surface. So 
Suggestions? Get the exec back. Or we'll leave Mr. Cutter the con. You do realize what you're saying? Yeah, I do. What about the captain? Do we just leave him? He had to give you guys some orders while you're on the island together. Captain left me with a direct order to pick him up at 0300 hours and get the information to Cobb Subpack. Then I suggest we do what the captain ordered. But first, we need to get Cutter out of the con. Because that son of a bitch could kill us all. Delay position report. Listen to this. They're carrying rubber, tungsten, tin, gold, poly, bedenum, and, and you ran. Chief, what is this stuff? Can you not say Molly Bedenum? Uran is German for uranium. U-235 is a metal element that's highly radioactive. Radioactive? Yes. And molybdenum is a metallic element that's used primarily as an alloy in cast iron and steel. It's used to toughen, strengthen, and is corrosive resistant. Weapons ingredients. Well, whatever this damn uranium is, it means we have to get to the surface. We have to get this information to Com Subpack and get the captain back on board. Let me remind you that I give the orders here. I make all the decisions. You will not take over my boat. Your boat? This is the captain's boat. You don't care about this boat, you don't care about the crew. You said so yourself. The only thing that matters to you is this damn watch and a medal. A medal that'll win you a seat in the Senate, just like dear old dad. You selfish son of a bitch! Break it up! My watch! It's not my watch! Say goodbye to Robert E. Lee! What the hell is going on here? I was just giving Mr. Cutter a, a better understanding of the captain's direct order, sir. I'm getting a lot of noise from above, sir. What kind of noise? Like a rain squall. A rain squall? Yes, sir. Sir, have you been officially released from sickbay? A rain squall is a perfect blind to surface. Can we get the boat to the surface? If Bartimio hasn't released you from sickbay, I am still officially in command. We only have enough high pressure air to push her to 100 feet of the surface. Starting the engine is a long shot. In fact, it's crazy. But we might make it work. Do it. I need to speak to Grease. Milchi, get Grease on the horn. This is my command. Do you hear me? And until Bartimio says differently, you are unfit to command. I order you back to sickbay! Step aside, Mr. Cutter, and shut your mouth. Grease, can the engine start? You mean now? Submerged? Yes, submerged. Yeah, we can start him. But it'll suck every ounce of breath right out of your ass. If the compressed air gets us to 100 feet, can you take us to the surface from there? Oh, I'll get our asses up there. You just remember to hold your breath. Grease said that starting the engines at 100 feet will create a tremendous vacuum. But it might have enough propulsion to get us to the surface. This is crazy. Sir? He is unfit to command. Sir, no surrender. Do it. Prepare the surface. When we hit the surface, prepare to open the hatch to the bridge and man battle stations. When you hit the surface, that destroyer will be waiting. You can't hide in a rain squall. That tin can knows our position. Do you have a better idea? How many fish we got? You don't have the guts for this. And you won't be able to fire those fish on time. I think you should leave, Mr. Cutter. You are unfit to command. Enough. I will not hear another word from you. Is that a threat? No, Mr. Cutter, that is an order! I think you should leave now, Mr. Cutter. This is Milchi! Milchi, take Mr. Cutter to his quarters. Aye, sir. We'll suffocate before we hit the surface. Starting the engines at 100 feet will kill us. This is suicide. I could have saved this boat. We 
gonna survive! Chief, what about those fish? We have three fish forward. Number two tube is inoperable from the stuck torpedo. All right, blood tubes one, three, and four. Listen up. When we hit the surface, that destroyer is gonna be waiting to ram us. So be on your toes and be sharp. That's killing the jet destroyer. Forward torpedo room, flood tubes one, three, and four. Prepare to shoot on my command. I'll need a quick bearing on target. If that tin can hits right for us, we'll fire down its throat. No second chances. Mueling, what do you hear? Rain squall, sir. Nothing else. Lie low and conserve oxygen. When the engines start and we blow ballast, that vacuum's gonna make breathing difficult. But if all goes well, we'll be breathing fresh air in a few minutes. Prepare to surface. Tubes one, three, and four are flooded. Sir, all tubes are flooded and ready. Blow ballast tanks. Take her up fast, 20 degree up angle. Blow all ballast. Maintain 20 degree up angle. Approaching 250 feet. 325. 200. Chief, tell the engine room to stand by. Engine room, stand by. 150 feet. 125. She's slowing. Start the engines. All ahead full. Reach. Start the engines. All ahead flow. We're taking the Yum Express. Melchie, man the hatch. Help it out as soon as we break the surface. Up scope. Destroyer's dead ahead off port bow, 2,000 yards. Man the deck guns. She's at 1,500 yards. Barry, 350. Open out her doors. What? Three and four. Prepare to shoot. Open out her doors. One, three, and four. 1,000 yards. She's going to ram us. Fire one. One away. Fire three. Three away. Fire four. Four away. One, three, and four. Running straight out of normal. Torpedo one. Seven seconds to target. Three seconds. Torpedo one to miss. Torpedo three. Nothing, another dud. Torpedo four, six seconds. Two, one. Thank you, God. Chief, tell someone to get the steward to get us some fresh coffee. Fresh coffee and fresh air. <laughs> coffee, sir? I think we could all use a stiffer drink. 
Well, there's some poor Maryland bourbon and some raw California brandy under my rack. Now, we'll all have a jigger just as soon as we reach that rendezvous and secure Captain Culpepper back on board. We're going home. <laughs> We're going home. We're going home. home. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank God. Got it.